jazzing up your day with a touch of soul. The Living Room on 938 Live. Welcome into The Living Room on 938 Live and created by Scottish novelist J.M. Barry at the beginning of the 20th century. It's no wonder we revere his eternal youth since after a century we're still reading the book, watching the movies and now a brand new musical adventure. So Peter Pan, his lost boys from the Neverland and the Darlings have flown beyond the second star from the right and straight on through till they've reached Singapore at the Resorts World Sentosa uh, from the 27th of November till early next year for Peter Pan, The Never-Ending Story. So joining us today are Peter Pan himself, Sandor Strubel. Hello. Uh, Wendy, playing Wendy, is uh, Wendy James or? Lily Jane. Lily Jane. See, I'm getting names confused here. How awful. <laughs> Captain Hook himself, Wim van den Drischer. Yes. <laughs> now, I, yeah, I need to go back to language classes. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. I understand you just arrived yesterday, so it's busy times, rehearsals full on already. How's it going so far? Yeah, good, good. We have a really good time here, uh, here in uh, in Singapore, and uh, we are making a special uh, a version, specially made for uh, for Singapore, because normally we played the, the show in uh, big arenas. So now a new version of Peter Pan, the arena spectacle, specially for uh, the World's Resort Arena uh, um, Theater in Sentosa. Because we're smaller. Yeah, the the, the, <laughs> no, the, the the venue is a little bit smaller, so right. we, had, we had to adjust yeah. some, uh, some. Ah, because I understand it's really high flying spectacle, almost trapeze, crazy circus kind of stunts Peter Pan would have to do. I assume, yeah, right? We, and it, we've it's great what we've done because we've kind of managed to take all of that that we had in the arena and like put it into Sentosa. So it, it, it look it actually looks even better because you, you you can really see everything really clearly and yeah, it's. It's going to be, is the I audience think, closer, maybe? Yeah, the audience is closer. Right. And we can actually, for the first time, we can fly over the audience. So, I mean, this is just going to be, I think, probably the most personal experience that we would have had with an audience thus far. So, so it's a little different from other performances you've had in other countries where the venue has been bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer, you think, smaller or larger? Uh, or both have as their... An, as, an act, as an actor, uh, we definitely do because you're, you're, you're closer to, to the audience mm-hmm. and uh, so you can act a little bit yeah. smaller. So that's m- ah, more, more interesting. Okay, okay. So I want to ask Captain Hook yes. or Wim actually how he's feeling about playing one of the maybe most hated characters around. <laughs> yes, but that is also the most nice thing to do because I can live out my own fantasy and do a... <laughs> You know everything that you're not allowed to do in life, you're allowed to do as Captain Hook, of course. <laughs> so that's that's wonderful. It's a wonderful character to play. Is it challenging getting used to the hook? Mm, no, no. That's that's um, remarkably you're very easily used to. Accidentally that. hitting yourself in the mm, eye. Maybe. No, that no, that that should be avoided. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's yes. Because then you ha- also have the the black eye. Yeah, so that's, or you'll have, have two black eyes yes, after a while if you're not no, careful. No, no, we don't do that. No. <laughs> what about Sundar? How's it like playing Peter? It's amazing. It's it's such a, uh, a it's such a pleasure to to play the 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 little boy who doesn't want to grow up because you can actually just be a child again for uh, yeah, for the time that the show lasts, and uh, it's it's just so much adventure and so much pleasure to run around the stage and be a child for uh, for, for two hours and all the little adventures jumping around of course the flying is really 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 challenging and therefore also really really nice to do were there different roles that you had watched that inspired you more perhaps say for example robin williams as peter pan or did well, you make the, sure you didn't watch them just so that you could bring your own thing to it? The thing is, what, what was really interesting to uh, to, uh, to to see with the, the 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 thing that Robin Williams did, because he w- was really an adult yeah. who had to go back to that little boy. And uh, I'm 29 years old, so not really. No. So, so <laughs> it, 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 it's really it's really nice how to how to transform uh, the the adult to the boy again. Yeah, okay. So what about uh, for you, Lily, as you play Wendy? It's a very well-known character as well. Mm. There's is there some pressure. I mean, the story's been around for over 100 years. Yeah, I guess there is a bit of pressure. I mean, especially because there's been so many versions of Peter Pan and probably every child that grows up with the story grows up with their um, own favourite, whether that would be from the Disney film or from the book or from the cartoon or, you know, any of the... There, there's also a big blockbuster movie, I think, about 12 years ago. So everyone kind of has their own kind of version of what Wendy should be but for me what I loved about it um, doing this show is because all the technologies that we used were completely unique um, 
we have been able to create something new and thus far we've been doing it now for three years kids really are open and respond to it and so many little girls um always say that oh I love I love your Wendy so I think I feel kind of confident and happy with what I've been able to do with her We've been chatting with the cast from Peter Pan, The Never-Ending Story. Curtains go up 27th of November at Resorts World Theatre at Resorts World Sentosa. I'll give you ticketing details in a bit. Stay with us on The Living Room, 938 Live. The Living Room on 938 Live. Time now to rejoin The Living Room on 938 Live. The Living Room is a moment away. Stay tuned to The Living Room on 938 Live. And we're back on The Living Room on 938 Live as we chat with the cast from Peter Pan, The Never-Ending Story. Uh, curtains go up 27th of November. That'd be a few days away, actually, next week. So it's exciting times. Resorts World Theatre is where it'll be at Resorts World Sentosa. You can get your tickets at cystic.com.sg. Unfortunately, Singaporeans, we tend to do things at the last minute. So I would <laughs> encourage you... <laughs> <laughs> Hop to it, get your tickets now, and then it happens. Oh, it's sold out. What do I do now? So mm. your own fault. <laughs> well, yeah, getting to it. So uh, we want to chat with Peter, who is played by Sandor Sturbel, who is telling us a bit about how, uh, because our venue is a little smaller, mm -hmm. how have rehearsals been? A bit of adjusting going on, I'm sure, as you come from bigger venues. Yes, exactly. So first of all, we have a new set. So uh, it just got flew in from, uh, from Belgium, where the uh, production company is from. Uh, and second, we uh, our cast consists of uh, sixteen different nationalities. So bit by bit, we are almost like the UN. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> So we are flying in all the different cast members and putting them together. Uh, the choreographer Martino Müller is going over all the different uh, choreographies, staging them. Uh, we have a, a, a acting director who's um, rehearsing with us, the singing cast, to get everything in place. We have a new sound designer, so a sound check. So a lot of stuff is going on uh, through all the day, but we're getting there. Sounds good to us. Uh, Wim, tell us what the most challenging thing is for you. You said the hook is no problem. What's the most challenging for you? Is it the stunts, maybe the singing, maybe? No, I think and I think that is where the, there is a lot of profit in playing in a smaller venue to still tell the story. In when you're in a spectacle like this, where a lot is going on, uh, sometimes you, as a mean leading character, uh, have to make sure that people can wa li see your story. So they, otherwise, there's a lot of acrobats and a lot of fireworks and a lot of this and that and that going on. So you always have to make sure as an actor that the people can follow the story. And that is your responsibility, of course. Uh, to be honest, personally, Captain Hook's my favorite guy. Yeah, Peter you irritates see? me just a wee bit in the <laughs> stories. <laughs> Captain Hook is, you have yeah. fans too, right? Despite the yeah, fact that a lot of people also might dislike Captain Hook, the character. So how do you feel about playing Captain Hook? I mean, how do you prepare to play Captain Hook. Earlier you talked about how you can actually do all the things that in real life maybe you couldn't, yeah. all those horrible things to Peter. Well, uh, it's it's like an, any other part. You put on the costume and you play it. You know, there's <laughs> not a lot of to prepare. There's nothing holy about it. It's just, uh, you know, it's theater. It's it's a, it's a, th a, a, a job and you learn how to do it and then you do it. But uh, you look like a really nice guy. Just before curtains yes, go that, up, do you, makeup, feel, you know? do you feel like you... <laughs> that's why they invented makeup. And uh, you, made up, makeup changes a lot. Do you have to feel as though you might have to go to an angry place, get no. angry at someone before you start? No, no. Because the funny thing is, in uh, acting, this, it's all about making the people having emotions. I don't have to have the emotions. It's the audience. So that's, a, that's, a, that's the, the big mystery about how to learn how to act is that it's not involving your emotion. So I don't have to be angry to make you <laughs> think that I'm angry. Right. Otherwise, it would be impossible to do, uh, what do we do? Eight shows? Eight shows yeah. a week. That would be impossible. That's why but you, so yeah, yeah, that's you, but why you have you to focus and you have to concentrate because you have to know how that technique works. Right, right. Yeah. So tell us a bit about uh, playing Wendy Lily. Is there a place you have to go back to? I mean, earlier you talked about tapping into yeah. your in a girl, I suppose, your younger self. Yeah, it's funny um, to hear Wim um, say, say this, but Wim is so much more experienced than I am. Um, I literally do the opposite, and I have to literally run around Sentosa like a child um, <laughs> the whole day to get ready. Um, I've been spending a lot of time, you know, 
um, looking at all, all the stuff from all the movies because obviously on Centos you've got loads of like different characters and stuff running around. And I mean, for me, I literally just do as many things to feel like a girl and like a princess as possible in the day. And then that seems to just hit me. And then by the night time, I'm, I'm 12 years old again. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Sando? Just before curtains go up, what are you doing? Are you going through the lines in your head? Uh, doing think, a bit of stretching? I think I'm actually somewhere in between <laughs> Because uh, uh, our stage is like a is like a playground, and uh, if I can just be in that moment and and just enjoy playing the show, it helps me to be that free and enjoyable uh, Peter Pan. Tell us a bit about different audiences. You move from so many places. I mean, is there a favorite place you've liked to play so far? You've liked to perform so far? Mm, not really, but it is quite interesting to see how how the audience responds to uh, to the show. There is this this certain part in the show where uh, I ask the audience to uh, believe in fairies, and they really have to uh, interact and respond. <gasps> and you do see a, a difference uh, in in every uh, country where we played. So it's quite interesting to see to to see how the Singapore people will uh, respond to it but I think they will I think they'll be really lively yeah. O- yeah, <laughs> over so. time we're hoping we're changing it but we've had this reputation of being a bit quiet oh. you know yeah. sort of sit yeah. there and a uh, yeah. little shy maybe mm-hmm. over time it's changing it's getting a bit better I think we're loosening mm-hmm. up a wee bit so fingers crossed for you guys always okay. try and loosen <laughs> up a little bit more <laughs> so what can we expect from the show I mean for people who strangely have no idea what Peter Pan is all about they've perhaps been living under a rock all this time <laughs> what can we expect of the show and um, you can expect just to be taken on a taken on an adventure unlike any other i mean i know a lot of musicals have, have come to singapore before but what if, what our show offers is really a all-round experience it's not just it's not just about the story it's also about the visuals and the sound and you just go in there and you're completely absorbed and for kids especially over christmas that is just they're, they're just gonna be taken away to neverland and they're never wanna, gonna want to leave again <laughs> basically when you and i know why we like captain hook why should audiences also embrace him you think He's pretty oh, misunderstood, I think. Uh, yes, uh, or not, but he's the bad guy, and uh, th- there's always an attraction to the bad guy. That's, that's true. That's <laughs> been for ages like that, and this is because you are allowed to to feel like that in a theater because that is a storytelling. That's the joy of theater, of course. Really. Yes, yeah. We reflect on on society and we tell a story, but we are allowed to do much f- to go f- further than outside of the theater. And that's why people love these kind of bad guys because you wouldn't want to see him in the street of course <laughs> but in the theater is <laughs> but where in we the can theater, experience and, it. and the child even the children they are attracted to him because they know in a strange way they already know they believe that he's there but they know it's theater so they are attracted to him because they know it's safe in a very strange way right well if it would be on the street children would be terrified of course right. And as an as an adult you wouldn't want children to see that so that is, a, and it, even with the smallest children, you can see that that they know that it's safe, and that is the and that's the beauty of this story. Also, you know, we we I always fight with Peter Pan, but it's a never-ending story. Mm. So you never will kill him. So you never will hurt him. And that is the that's the beauty about fairy tales is that it can get rough, uh, uh, but it's never to be afraid of. Right. What about you, Peter or Sandor? You're playing Peter. You're the hero of the day. Mm-hmm. What are we going to be expecting from Peter at Peter Pan, the never-ending story? Now, first of all, a, a Peter Pan wouldn't be a Peter Pan if he wouldn't fly. So we have some amazing flying going on. We actually, like uh, Lily uh, earlier said, we're going to fly over the audience. And I think that's, that's for, the, for, the, for the people who come and watch the show, especially for the kids. It's going to be really, really mind-blowing uh, to really see him up in the air and, and to wonder, like, how are they doing that? So that, I think that's the best thing to to do, and they can really expect some mind blowing flying around, some fighting with Hook, and uh, well, everything around it. It's gonna be a big spectacle. And we hear the music is fantastic as well. Mm. So a big thank you to uh, Peter Pan himself, Sandra Strubel, who playing who's playing Wendy. It's Lily Jane Young, and also Captain Hook, Wim van den Drisha. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Get thank your you. tickets already. I told you. Hop to it. Cystic.com.sg. Curtains go up 27th November till the 20th of January. Resorts World Theatre, Resorts World, Sentosa. Jazzing up your day with a touch of soul. The Living Room on 938 Live.